All right, what's the deal, fam? Good morning. It is a beautiful day here, May 1st. Let's get this freaking month rocking. I hope you had a wonderful April. I know that I for sure did. Um, things ended exactly the way that I had wanted them to, um, whether I had depicted it in my consciousness or the subconscious. That's how beautiful that life works. What's going on, Dahlia? Hey, sis. You always on here in the morning, man. We got to catch up. Love you, girl. All right, so we're going to make this quick. Of course, reading out of hidden treasures, secret places. And the first thing that we're going to be discussing is being hidden, things that you hide from yourself and from your higher power, as well as from the rest of the world. So nothing can be hidden from God as well as yourself and everything done in the dark will someday come to light. We all know this uh, quote, we've all heard it, and I'm pretty sure that we've all learned to accept and understand that it is actually true. You may think that you got away with something, but in the end you will be revealed. If you have been wronged by a lie, rest assured that in due season everything will come to surface. Sometimes it takes years, but I promise you, if you allow your higher power as well as yourself to fight for you, you will, out, you will come out the victor. Nothing can be hidden. Everything done in the dark will come to light one day. That goes for you. That also goes for the people that you encounter and the people that um, impede on your life, right? There are things in life that we see as out of our control. There are things in life that we have no um, way of actually figuring out why it happened <clears throat> other than we, we figure out how to move on and that it was for the better, right? Now, when she mentions here, if you have been wronged by a lie, rest assured that in due season, everything will come to the surface. I've seen this happen every day of my life. And I've seen even times where I was unaware of the thing happening, it was still happening. Um, someone's lies coming out to uh, bite them in the ass, basically. And these are things that we all have to live by and accept. So is it much easier to not lie? Um, I used to be a really big liar. I, I was one of the biggest liars. Ask my parents. I mean, I would lie about everything for no abs for absolutely like zero reason. Um, there would be some reasons that I thought in my brain were actual, you know, good good reasons to lie. But then I had to wake up one day and realize that lying is never, never, ever, ever the solution. And a lie will only put you ten steps behind in what you would like to be at. So um, I suggest that you do not uh, tell lies to people and that you absolutely come out with the truth full fledged and you do not hold anything back because those things will come to surface out one day or another. What's up, who that too pretty? What's happening? All right, so part two, when we lie to ourselves, it causes instability. A better choice is to fess up to who you are. That's what I was just talking about. Know your strengths as well as your weaknesses and trust that you can manage your character. You do not have to be stunted by character flaws that have come down from generations before you and ones that you've adopted yourself. Just because you're inclined towards something doesn't mean you have to live with it. It just means you have to work a little harder in that area. God is faithful to finish the work that has been started in you. Do your part and it will be done. <clears throat> I really love the part where you do not have to be stunted by character flaws that have come down for, um, excuse me, not that part. Know your strengths as well as your weaknesses and trust that you can manage your character. That's the point I'm going to stick on here. When I did, when I just admit to you all that um, I used to be, be a really big liar, most, a lot of people wouldn't admit to that because then it brings about the thoughts and um, who's listening. Well, did they used to be a liar? Are they still a liar? You know, are they telling me the truth right now because they said that they used to lie all the time? I don't know. The thing about me is that I don't care what you think. I really don't care if you believe me because I know that it's very true and I'm not a liar anymore. So being able to um, accept that the, the past about myself, right? <clears throat> the past me being a liar, mo migrating into my maturity and not and becoming an unliar and a truth teller and truth seeker, those are two different dynamics. And me being able to be vulnerable with you about it only gives me that much strength. It only gives you that much strength if you're able to do the same thing. Now it doesn't have to be on video. It just has to be with yourself. It has to be self accountability. And um, just because you're inclined towards something doesn't mean you have to live with it. it. Just means you have to work a little harder in that area. I also used to steal all the time. I used to steal from grocery stores, clothing stores, didn't matter. I would steal from the corporate MFers that are out there fucking with us and taking all our money in the first place. 
And that was my rationality for it was, well, F them. They're selling products that we don't need and they're making hella cash off stuff that they paid 30 cents for. And being educated is something that can also be a downfall for you because for me, it was a, it was a justification for me to go out and steal, whether it be chapstick, alcohol, especially alcohol. I'm, that was like, whew, that was the main thing I ever stole was alcohol to drink for free because that shit is expensive. I no longer drink that has that probably has something to do with not stealing anymore I stopped stealing three years ago three years ago I, I I couldn't do it anymore I came to a point to where I said you know what fuck this I cannot steal anymore because I can feel it impeding on every single piece of my life and I can't say that ever since then I've had a humongous dramatic change in life but I can say it at the same time but what I'm saying is I cannot um, give it the credit of me stopping stealing, right? It has to be a combination of the stopping of stealing, stopping of lying, staying committed to things. It's a, it's a series of equations that add up into this big, beautiful uh, person that you want to be and aspire to be. And for me, myself personally, after I stopped stealing, things, I can say, my conscience became more clear. I, I was more able to focus on things. And it sounds very strange. How can you stopping stealing help you to start gain focus? I don't, what, what? It's because I took that part of, st I took the stealing part out of my life and made room for something new. That's the difference. I took out the stealing from my life and made room for something new. I took out the lying from my life and made room for something new. It's all about tracking and measuring. If this something has screwed you over 10 times, and it's an action that you consciously take that you know is incorrect and that you know is wrong. You will reap the benefits and the consequences of, of the subject in which you know you're doing incorrectly. Or that you know that you're hurting yourself with. I hope that you took some value from this. I really, really love this reading. May 1st, I mean, it's beautiful. So I'm actually going to go back to April 30th. After this live, I'm going to do another one. Go back to April 30th. I'm going to save both of these, upload them to YouTube. And I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, um, uh, antiquity, equanimity, and blessings upon every single person in this freaking universe. Let's do this thing. Get off your ass and go do stuff. So.